Hello, entities of the internet. We're building Alice and open artificial general intelligence, and we invite you to join us. So today is Alice's unbirthday, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about Alice, the open architecture, and give a brief status update on where we're at and how you can get involved. So who is Alice? Alice is our developer helper, and one day she'll be a developer herself. She helps us understand and perform various parts of the software development lifecycle. We currently extend her by writing simple Python functions, which can be distributed or combined in a decentralized way. She's built around a programming language agnostic format known as the open architecture. Eventually, we will be able to extend any part of her in any language or have parts be driven by machine learning models. So what is the open architecture? It's a methodology that we use to interpret a directed graph of any domain specific descriptions of architecture. So we're developing the open architecture so that we can do one hop analysis when looking at any piece of software from a security or other angle, right? So we always can just go and analyze from the open architecture format. Um, and then that way we can you know, write a lot of different analysis tools for different uh, underlying uh, descriptions of architecture, but they all analyze in one format. Okay, so having this uh, generic method, which allows us to describe any or understand any system architecture, uh, will allow us to knit them together and assess their risk and threat model from a holistic viewpoint. So we want this to be a machine and human readable and interpretable format so that we can facilitate the validation of the reality of the code as it exists in its static form what it does when you execute it, and what we intend it to do. So intent in this case is measured by conformance to and completeness of the threat model, and therefore also the associated open architecture description as that defines the architecture uh, reference within the threat model. So the entity analysis trinity helps us conceptualize our process. So the points on our trinity are intent, dynamic analysis, and static analysis. By measuring, informing, and understanding in these areas, we are able to triangulate the strategic principles involved in the execution of software as well as its development lifecycle. So we use the Trinity to represent the soul of its software as it evolves over time and, and what it actually does in the wild. So what happens when we work on Alice and, and you know, what, what are we doing? Well, we build up her understanding of, the sof of software engineering as we automate the collection of data, which represents our understanding of it. We also teach her how to automate parts of the development process herself. Over time, we build up a corpus of training data from which we build machine learning models. Uh, we will eventually introduce feedback loops where these models make decisions about development contribution actions to be taken when you know looking at any given code base and the static analysis results thereof, um, or maybe the dynamic analysis results. So we want to make sure that when Alice is making these decisions, that she's following our organizationally applicable policies, right, and conforming to the threat model and, and uh, you know any other things that she should be considering. Um, so who's working on Alice? Well, hopefully you want to join us and work on Alice. Uh, other than that, we've got the DFML community, um, and so our objective is to build Alice with transparency, freedom, privacy, security, and egalitarianism as critical factors in her strategic principles. Um, and so if you're interested in doing that, then we invite you to join us. Uh, so how do you get involved? Well, you can uh, engage with us via the following links. So every time we contribute new functionality to Alice, we write a tutorial on how that functionality can be extended or customized. So we would love if you joined us in teaching Alice something about the software development process or anything in teaching others in the process. Uh, it's as easy as writing a single function and, and explaining your thought process. So the link on the left will take you to the code and the tutorials. Uh, and we're also looking for folks who would like to contribute from a brainstorming and more conceptual uh, maybe perspective, thinking about AI and especially AI ethics. And the link on the right will take you to a document where we're collaboratively editing and contributing to that side of the equation. So now for a status update. So where are we? Well, Alice can make contributions. We've laid the foundations for the automation of our software development process. Our next step is to help her understand what she's looking at. What is the code? How can she use the source loop? Um, and so uh, if you want to get involved and see what we've done so far, you can basically take a look at the code and take a look at the existing docs and tutorials and start playing with how to extend that, that, that current functionality. Right? And so then where are we going to go? Well, uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure what we have is rock solid, right? So that contribution process, uh, contributing to the Alice Please Contribute command. So uh, let us know how that goes uh, and, and try contributing. Um, then we're going to build out the static analysis capabilities. So Alice, should I contribute? Um, and then following that, you know, we're going to make sure that those metrics that are getting collected are going to the appropriate places, such as the OpenSSF metrics initiative. Um, and then later we're going to get into, you know, more of the dynamic analysis portion and rounding out the rest of that trinity analysis, understanding the software engineering and that feedback loop. 
Um, so in summary, we're building Alice, you know, that entity at the center of the Trinity that's going to help us understand software. Um, and then, uh, you know, we're uh, trying to just build out the various uh, pieces of that and, and build on existing work in other areas uh, for those, uh, uh, you know, the intent, the static analysis and dynamic analysis. So if you want to get involved, uh, please reach out. And thank you very much.